Hello everyone. So uh, in this video, we'll be looking at how to find the inverse of this uh, particular two by three matrix, and we shall be using the cofactor method. Okay, so let's start. To find the inverse, the first thing we have to find is the determinant. So the determinant, of which we just say date A. The first thing we have to do is we have to set up a plus, a minus, a plus like that. Then once we do that, we're going to be getting uh, the two by two matrices that will be formed when we cover um, a, a, a particular row and column of uh, those particular values we'll be getting. So this is what I mean. So on the first row, which is three, four, and one, three, four, and sorry, three, four, and two, we'll start with a three then what is the two by two that is formed? So what that means is that we need to uh, hide what we have in the first row and the column. Now this is for three, the column and row for three. So what remains? Uh, one, five, four, seven. Okay, so the next thing there is a minus four. So minus four. What's the two by two formed? So again, same thing. Uh, the row and column for four. What's a two by two formed? Uh, one, four, four, seven. And lastly, the last value there is a two. So we can say plus two. What's a two by two formed? The two by two formed will be one, one, four, five. So one, one, four, five. Okay. So just like that. So remember, we set uh, plus minus plus. That's the reason why this four here that we got is a negative. So what does this give us? This will be equals to three. Now let's find the determinant of the two by twos. So one times seven is seven minus five times four is a 20. One times seven is seven. Four times four is 16 plus one times five is five minus four. So we have that, okay. Then from there, what do we get? So date A, remember we're finding the determinant. Date A is equals to, this will be uh, a negative 18. So negative 18 times three should give us negative 39 uh, minus, what we have there is um, a negative nine. So negative nine multiplied by negative four should be the positive 36. 36. Here, this is just one times two. So let's get a positive two. So if we add those two, we get negative three plus two. Hence our determinant is negative one. Okay. So we have the determinant. What next? The next thing we will need to do is we need to find um, the cofactors. So we're going to create this very big three by three matrix like this. Let's just do this. Okay. So I'm going to create two by two matrices just like I did. So I need nine of them, by the way, because it's a three by three matrix. Okay. So this is what we have. Okay, so now what is happening here is that uh, I'm going to be getting a value at each position. For example, if I say I'm getting uh, this seven here, then I need to hide the row and column for seven. Then I get the two by two matrix that will be formed. Then that's what is what I'm going to place in this matrix. Okay, I hope we get the idea now. So at three, if I hide the column and row for three, what's the matrix formed? We'll have one, Four, five, seven. At four, hide the row, uh, the column, and the row. What do we have? One, four, four, seven. At two, we have one, one, uh, four, five. Uh, we come here at one. We hide the row and column. We have four, two, five, seven. When we come central, we hide the row and column. We have three, four, two, seven. Here at four, we had the row and column, we have three, four. Uh, 
four, five. Here at four, what's the two by two formed? Four, one, two, four. Here at five, the two by two formed would be three, one, uh, two, four. Here at seven, we'll have three, four, one, one, like that. Okay. Now, before you proceed to find uh, the individual uh, determinants of these two by two matrices, it's important to note that you need to take note of this. At every position, we should have a plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, supposed to be a minus, sorry. Um, this is a plus, minus, and a plus. So we have a negative here, here, and here, and there. So a negative here, a negative here, a negative there, and a negative there, according to this. Meaning that whatever determinant will come out of that, we have to take note of the negative. Let's be careful when doing this. So now, this will be 7. Now we're finding the determinants. This will be 7 minus 20. Remember, 7 minus 20 is uh, negative 13. So we have negative 13. When we come here, this is 28 minus 10. It's a product. 28 minus 10. So 28 minus 10, that is 18. But remember, there's a negative. So negative 18. 4 times 4 is 16 minus 2, 14. When we come here, we have 7 minus 16, which is negative 9. So that negative 9 uh, with a negative becomes a positive 9. When we come here, it is 5 minus 4, which is just 1. When we come here, it is uh, 21 minus 8. I hope that's okay. 21 minus 8, which is 13. From there now, here we're going to say this is a 15 minus 16. We get a negative 1, but there's a negative, so it becomes positive. Here, this is 12 minus 2. 12 minus 2 is 10. There's a negative, so negative 10. Here, this is a 3 minus 4, so negative 1. Okay. Now, this matrix that we get, we have to transpose it. Once we transpose it, the matrix that we get is the adjoint. Okay. Let me just do this. If we transpose this matrix, what we get is the adjoint of the 3 by 3 matrix. So what does that mean for us? It means that we can say, let's bring it here, the adjoint of matrix A is equal to the transpose of this. So let's transpose it. If we transpose it, this is what we get. So the row becomes a column. Negative 13, 9, 1. This row becomes a column. Negative 18, 13, 1. This row becomes a column. 14, uh, negative 10, uh, negative 1. So this is the transpose. So the transpose of this gives us the adjoint. Now remember, uh, determinant, uh, or rather not determinant, but inverse. So let's bring it here now. Let's conclude. Inverse, A inverse, is given by the formula 1 over the determinant of A multiplied by the adjoint of A. So a inverse in this case is equal to 1 over date a. Now remember, our date a or the determinant is negative 1. So in short, 1 over negative 1 is negative 1. So negative 1 will multiply everything in the adjoint. So let us multiply negative 1 with everything in the adjoint. What do we get? We get negative 13, 9, 1, negative 18. Uh, 13, 1, uh, 14, negative 10, negative 1. Now, this is the actual adjoint. Now, everything in the adjoint is being multiplied by negative 1. What does this mean? It means that whatever is positive becomes negative. Whatever is negative becomes positive. Like that. 
because we're multiplying everything with a negative one. This means that our inverse, let's write it properly now, our inverse becomes 13 minus 9 minus 1, 18 minus 13 minus 1 minus 14, uh, 10 and 1. So there we have it. This is the inverse of this particular matrix.